The case that set the precedent for impeachment in Texas was the indictment of Governor James Ferguson in 1917. This is his story. Ferguson was born to non-wealthy parents on a farm in Salado Creek in 1871 and received very limited schooling, the equivalent of a sixth grade education. After leaving home, he taught himself law, becoming city attorney of Belton for two years before deciding to become a banker. Ferguson married Miriam A. Wallace, and the couple moved to the rapidly growing city of Temple, where Ferguson got involved in community affairs and contributed to local political campaigns. Ferguson decided to run for governor himself as a newcomer in the Democratic primaries. Because of his support of the tenant farmers of Texas and his popularity with rural voters, he earned the nickname Farmer Jim. Ferguson won the election, and during his first term, he maintained his popularity, had good relationships with legislators, and remained true to his campaign promises. Going into Ferguson's second term, he began a tumultuous relationship with certain academics and members of the UT Board of Regents, who he saw as being elitist and highly critical of his administration. This ongoing rift with the university resurfaced old allegations of banking violations previously made against Ferguson in his last campaign, which soon caught the ear of legislators. Ferguson was accused of using state funds to purchase groceries and other personal items, such as gramophone records, tires for his car, and a ukulele, among other things. The governor was merely censured and forced to reimburse the state for his grocery expenses, although this angered Ferguson, and he had an individual who testified against him arrested, as well as members of the UT Board of Regents fired. The Travis County Grand Jury began a new investigation of Governor Ferguson's financial dealings, with Speaker of the House Franklin O. Fuller calling a special session of the legislature to consider new impeachment proceedings. Since only the governor himself can call a special session, this was not entirely legal, although Ferguson legitimized it by calling a special session himself set for the same day. The investigation by the House led to a bill of impeachment on September 26, 1917, although Ferguson foresaw this happening and resigned on the 24th, hoping that by doing so, he could still be eligible to run for a third term in the future. Lieutenant Governor William P. Hobby from Houston succeeded Ferguson, and although Ferguson tried to run against him when Hobby was up for re-election, he was not successful. After a few more failed attempts to run, including an attempt to run for President of the United States, Ferguson dropped out, and he along with his wife began a campaign to run her for governor, with James acting as advisor to the governor should she win. Miriam A. Ferguson won, becoming the first female governor in Texas history and served two non-consecutive terms. 